Bad Tempered Ladybird by Eric Carle. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybird flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a bad tempered ladybird flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybird. Go away, shouted the bad tempered ladybird. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybird. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the bad tempered ladybird. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybird sweetly. It looked the other ladybird straight in the eye. The bad tempered ladybirds took a step back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you go and pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the bad tempered ladybird. I'll show you. It puffed itself and flew off. At six o'clock, it met a wasp. Hey, you, said the bad tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the wasp, showing its stinger. Oh, uh, you're not big enough, said the bad tempered ladybird and flew off. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the bad tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the bad stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, uh, you're not big enough, said the bad tempered ladybird and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the bad tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad tempered ladybird and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the bad tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its shark beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad tempered ladybird and flew off. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the bad tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad tempered ladybird and flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. At 12 no noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? If you insist, said that hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered upon an elephant. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? But the whale didn't answer at all. Oh, you're not big enough anyway, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. By 15, the bad-tempered ladybird said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey you, do you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At 5.30, the bad-tempered ladybird said to whale's fin, Hey you, do you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. 
At a quarter to six, the bad-tempered ladybird said to the whale's tail, Hey, you, do you want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the bad-tempered ladybird such a slap that it flew across the sea, across the land. Hmm. And at six o'clock, the bad-tempered ladybird landed right back where it started. Ah, you're here again, said the friendly ladybird. You must be hungry. There are some aphids left. You can have them for your dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, hungry ladybird. Would you like to share them? Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You're most welcome, answered both the ladybirds, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who'd been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. I hope you enjoyed that story. That's a favourite book of ours when we were in reception. Hilary gave it to us. We miss you, Hilary, and we miss all of you. Keep going, Teen Grove. <laughs>